We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at another mod from Tech Division. Uh, I did a couple of reviews for these guys um, late last year. And if you know, these guys have been going for a very, very long time. If you remember the Minion from back in the day. Uh, so this one uh, we're going to be looking at is called the MX-1. It is 200, I think it's about 230 euros. Uh, but we'll, we'll get into that in the close-ups. Uh, it is, uh, once again, it's another side-by-side -side mod. Uh, it's an SLS print, which is always pretty much the highest quality you can get for a 3D. It's going to be a DNA 60 or a Dicode's BF 60. Uh, you're looking at, uh, it'll take Atis up to, well I've actually had a 25 in there. And height wise you can see what it's got there. The other thing is that this is available in different colours. Now I have the kind of Stormtrooper one here but you've got black. You can have a silver battery tube with black body, red and black and purple. It goes on and on. But um, yes, less chatting, more close ups. So once again, uh, Tech Division mod, uh, the MX-1, this is going to cost you 230 euros. That's with the DNA board. I'm not actually sure how much it will cost uh, with the die codes. I would imagine it would be slightly more expensive. Opening it up, you will find one mod and a little baggie. Now I want to specify here that this mod that I'm showing you here is not for sale in the EU in this configuration. There is a little party piece that this one does, um, but because of yeah, some other mods that are on the go just now, um, you will not be able to buy this mod with this party piece in the EU. Uh, you will only be able to buy the mod with a fixed 510. The short and sweet version is if you're outside the EU and you buy this, you actually get this little spacer here and you can raise and lower this 510 base here and insert a little spacer. Uh, so if you have big long tanks, they look great and you can put short tanks on here as well. But that's only if you're outside the EU. If you're inside the EU, once again, this is what you'll get here. God, I hope that makes sense. Now I did give you all the spec, you would have seen that on screen already. And this is, yep, it's a side by side mod once again. And the one thing I'm gonna say straight off the bat is that um, I like the fact that the last two mods that I reviewed for Tech Division, whilst they were 3D printed mods, they were nice little mods. Uh, I didn't have any issue using them. Um, they, they had the, like the polygons on them. They weren't, the 3D print quality was not what I, liked i didn't like it it wasn't so you you know it wasn't rounded off as such this one brilliant no issues it's a really nice sls print and i've i, I don't have any issues no issues with this at all now i will say you know you've got lots of different color configurations you can go for uh, obviously you've got the mod dog battery tubes they're stainless steel and so on uh now i went with the the white print here uh I wouldn't necessarily recommend that for anybody that um, works in any kind of dirty environment or anything like that, because you know these this white on the the SLS it can it can get dirty it can get dirty, but uh, I tend to use a baby wipe and clean mine down and, and it keeps everything nice and white. I'll show you the little party piece just now, but but just so you can see this, if I take uh, my ruler here. I think I'm upside down, but that's uh, about 50 mil, 50 millimeters in height there. Now what you can do is if I grab a little Allen key, I can back off these screws, which are painted black. I really do like that, the fact that they've been painted black. So just back off these little screws here. I can then grab this bit and pull it up. Then I can insert this piece here. I might have to go up a little bit higher. There we go. Pop that in. Then tighten these back down. And that now means that uh, we're looking about 40 millimeters uh, from here to here. So you've got a, a 10 millimeter extension built into the mod. 
once again, I'm sorry I'm repeating myself, but once again, that feature there with the extension is only for outside the EU, not inside the EU. Uh, popping a battery in this, we've got the, the usual mod dog up here. Uh, if you uh, find this a bit of a pain for unscrewing this, he also includes this little doodah. Uh, so you just uh, take this, we'll line it up, push that in there. And, and it gives you a race section, which is so much easier to grab a hold of. Uh, and I'll also say that he has put, uh, what have we got down here? Yes, a plus symbol down the bottom. So it's actually marked on the tube now, the, the battery direction, which makes me very, very happy. Uh, but with this little 3D printed part on here, it just makes it easier for putting battery caps on and off. Give this a click. We have a Tech Division logo, it's the MX1, and it brings up your DNA60 screen. We have plus and minus buttons on either side, they're nice and clicky. A firing button around the front, which is also nice and clicky. And we have a USB charger here, or you can connect it to eScribe. This is a 1 amp charger uh, here, and that is pretty much it for the MX1. I, I personally really like this. Uh, I find it very comfortable to vape with, the, the firing button in the front. Uh, in this configuration, yes, you do need a slightly bigger tank to go on here. It will take a tank up to 25 millimeters in diameter. I'm using a, a vapor giant here. So if I screw this on, you can see this goes on here, no problem. That's that's That looks really, really nice. Uh, that looks really, really nice. Pop it on. This is my uh, my Squeep Enduro. This is the the 10 mil tank extension. Uh, you can see how big that is on there. This is the Theatro uh, 22 millimeters, uh, and you can get an idea how this is going to sit on here. Obviously, drip tips coming up, but this is with the 5.3 mil extension on the Theatro, so you get an idea of what's going to go and fit on here. But that'll do for just now. Uh, let's go back up top. Just to clarify again, I, I, I apologise. Once again, I'm repeating myself. I'm really sorry about that. Um, but uh, as standard, if you're buying this and you're inside the EU, uh, then the 510 is going to be right down. So it's going to be for tall atties. Um, if you buy it and you're outside the EU, then you will have the option to put in an extender which will raise the 510 so you can have it up high or you can have it down low. Uh, so there you go. And this is just due to vaping politics. We'll say no more about it. Now, I do have uh, back on here again, I've got my, my big vapor giant and that I really, really like. I think it's a good looking mod. I like it in the white and black. I, I will say, and this if you've ever had a 3D printed mod with white on it, uh, they do get dirty pretty quick. They really do. I've, I've used uh, acetone in the past, uh, just a little bit of acetone and a, a baby wipe and just clean it down periodically and it tends to keep it quite clean. But yeah, the white ones will get dirty quick. Uh, it's, you, you've got lots of colours to choose from. You've got the die codes board or you've got the DNA 60 board. Uh, I'm not sure. Once again, I think it will be more expensive for the die codes. Pretty sure it will be. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a quick vape. Uh, I, I find this an incredibly comfortable mod to vape with. It's got the firing button in the right place for me. Uh, once again, it's it's one of these ones with the, the side-by-sides. You know, if you are struggling with the, the air hole location, if that bothers you, if it's facing at the back, uh, just grab a tiny little O-ring, put it on the 510, and then you can position the Atty exactly how you want it. I like the fact that he's put this bit in up here as well. It makes it really, really easy to undo the, the battery cap at the top, but being the Mod Dog tube, it's not really that great a hassle taking the battery cap off. I like the fact that he's put a marking on the bottom so you know exactly which way the battery goes in the tube. That's always a thumbs up. You've got the plus and minus up and down buttons going on there. The only thing for me, and this is purely down to the individual. Um, I vape with my right hand all the time, so vaping like that, I wish the screen was on this side.
If you're left-handed, it's not a problem. You can see the screen every time you vape. But being right-handed, I don't. So it's not a huge deal because with side-by-side -side mods, I tend to set uh, my power setting on the DNA 60, hold the plus and minus, and lock it in. So I know exactly what I'm firing at anyway. I really like this one. I I, I, and I like the fact that he's got the, um, the print down. Uh, I, God, I sound like a, an old man trying to be cool. Uh, he's got the print down. No, he's got he's got the print spot on now. Uh, the, there is no, the, you know, it's it's proper, properly rounded rather than the polygon thing going on. So a big thumbs up from me in that respect. I like this. I really, really do like this. Uh, can't say much more than this. I really, really like this. Uh, the, once again, um, Milo's been around for a very long time, the Tech Division guys. Uh, you'll find them, they usually hang out in the, the Facebook group, uh, side by side, SBS. Uh, you'll find a lot of information there. Uh, they also have their own website, Tech Division. You can actually go along and buy these mods. You don't have to wait for weeks and weeks and join lists, they're there. Uh, and, and that's it. That's all I've got for you on the MX-1 from Tech Division. Milo, as always, thank you for sending this on. I got this free to review, to show off to you. And thank you to you for watching once again. And we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.